Lens diffraction is basically an optical interference that occurs when light passes through a really small opening, such as apertures of f18 to f22 and smaller. It generally occurs when the opening itself and the wavelength of the light are roughly the same size, and these wavelengths overlap cancelling each other out. It's never so intense as to completely obscure the image, but it can cause some softening in your photographs. With cheaper, smaller censored cameras, these diffractions show up at the smaller apertures. Say for instance, if you were shooting at f22, again, you might notice that light softness in your image. With the super high megapixel cameras, such as the Sony a7R 4 you will get lens diffraction at both smaller and larger ends of the aperture range. This is because of that high megapixel count. You will be able to see all of those imperfections in your shot as you can magnify your image on the screen a lot more than with a low megapixel camera. At the wider apertures, this lens diffraction will tend to be offset by the bokeh in your shots. And that's basically those soft out of focus bits around your subject. And this is especially true if you focus on the subject that is near the camera, pushing that background much more out of focus than normal. At the smaller apertures like f22, you will start to see a slight softening in your shots. Ultimately, lens diffraction is why your lens will have a sweet spot in its aperture range. This normally sits from around about f8 to f11. Some lenses might be slightly different, but most do produce their best images at these aperture values. So the next time you are taking a shot, if you're at a super wide aperture, it shouldn't matter too much because of that bokeh. But just be aware that this may soften your shot ever so slightly. And if you're at a brighter location, instead of stopping down to f22, increase the shutter speed or get a neutral density filter to enable you to get your camera away from those smaller apertures. If you do this, you will start to see an improvement in the clarity of your photographs. If you like this video, try clicking on this next one to learn about flash photography, or click on this one down here to learn about using a 10-stop ND filter. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography. I'll see you next time.